there, I'm Catherine, I'm a junior studying civil engineering at the University of Kansas and I'm really excited to show you around the civil, architectural and environmental engineering department today. Let's go. So this is the Lutz Fracture and Fatigue Laboratory. Um, it's really cool because it allows you to do both cyclic and dynamic testing um, from four points of contact on full scale models, which is obviously important because that's how the real world works. So um, you can model things in this lab that you can't in a lot of other labs um, in all of the little knot points that are uh, two feet apart um, at each center. And again, you can see the four walls orthogonal. So, so that allows you to do contact from all four of those angles. Obviously concrete is foundational to structural engineering both metaphorically and physically and that's why in this lab we're testing the strength of concrete which actually comes from chemical reactions. Uh, we have hydraulic testing machines with capacity up to 120 tons and in your upper level civil classes you'll be in here doing hands-on experiments with aggregates, cement, concrete. Uh, it's a really great experience because obviously as you can see we get kind of messy. Measurement Materials and Sustainable Environment Center. M2SEC as we refer to it. So obviously this building is cool because there's amazing research facilities here, but also the building itself is a living, breathing laboratory. Architectural engineers obviously study how a building interacts with its environment. So this lab is an amazing example of that and we could actually see it happening. This is one of our architectural engineering labs here with an M2SEC. And what's really cool is these 64 panels are in real time modeling the dynamics between the outside environment and this inside here, showing the effects of phase change materials on the thermal dynamics of this insulated space. So both sides of this wall are working in this lab. This is an exposed classroom within LEAP 2, and the ceiling in this room was actually intentionally left open so that the building systems and fire protection could be seen in real time and real world. The space functions duly as a classroom and real world testing space for architectural engineering students. Actually, I'm gonna get more coffee. Great, much better. We're in a classroom inside the central utility plant here on campus. And what's really cool is that everything's exposed and labeled so you can see the power plant that's really functioning for the university in action. This is a world-class facility. The L-shaped reaction wall right there can withstand up to 880,000 pounds per square inch. And actually, I see that my friend Beth is working in here right now, so I'm gonna turn it in over to her. So this is the West Campus Structural Testing Facility. We do large-scale structural testing projects here. So we actually just got done um, doing a test just now. <laughs> We're looking at um, when you splice rebar together within a beam, how like the splicing, like the distance between the splices and like the difference between like reinforcement in this um, actual concrete is. So as you can see, the beam just broke. You can see the steel coming out where that was spliced together. So the structural testing facility is one of the largest in the world. And what's so awesome about being here at the University of Kansas is that you can get involved and start working as an undergraduate student. I'm a sophomore this year and I've already started working here and I've gotten great hands-on experience. Thanks so much for joining me on the tour today. As you can see, we definitely have incredible learning and research happening here at KU. I really hope you enjoyed and I'm looking forward to hopefully seeing you on campus.